Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium looking beautiful on this perfect day for football. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from Major League Soccer coming right up. It's Atlanta United, and they take on the San Jose Earthquakes. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, here's the Atlanta United starting 11. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape, but if they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward, and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. Thank you for attending Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. And well, they know they need to stop him. And an astute piece of defending. Sosa. Derek Etienne. Araujo. And you can sense the threat is there. He could pick out a teammate. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. the right place to cut out the pass Mike Dunham that's Mike Dunham please refer to destinations to claim a lost title chances on in it goes the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? See some progress with the ball at his feet. But really sticking to the task defensively. Who can he pick out? Must be! Nicely saved. It's a short one. Electing to cross into the centre. And an effective clearance.
Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Brooks Lennon. Takes the shot! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? And taken short. A really intense pressure applied. In position here to protect the ball. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Monteiro Espinosa with it it is a decent looking attack here timely intervention Luis Araujo Yakumakis Etienne, looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. That's well blocked. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A oh, terrific pass. Oh, a great was. Goalkeeper has it. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Sosa. It needs an accurate cross. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, the attack looks promising. Plenty of support here. And players waiting in the centre. Effective challenge. Rossetto. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. It was an accurate free kick, but a fine save.
Trauco. Ibo Bissi. Well read to put an end to that attack. An example of how to press. The cross is on. Can he take advantage? Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Well, they've decided to make a change. Beautifully weighted ball. Just not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And still looking to get the shot off. Monteiro. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Has a go. Oh, fine attempt, but denied by the bar. Well, he thought that was in, and I have to say, so did I. It was a really good effort. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. How can they find a late leveller? He's protecting it well. A fine block. Now can they counter clinically? Strong but fair tackle. Matteo Rosetto. On the offensive. But nothing comes of it. Ewell, Monteiro, Espinosa, on the ball Monteiro, oh what an opportunity, oh that might have sealed it for them, well he has to make the keeper work there, that's a bad miss, and they're making a change, Montero, to be replaced by number 55, Michael Baldissimo. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.